First of all, thank you very much for your attention. We could have just given up. We could, we could have given up and not come to Beijing. This was the situation. Bombs were exploding. Missiles were exploding. There's a large scale war in Ukraine. If Ukraine is absent here at the Paralympic Games, and that is the first point I'd like to make, that would mean, that would signify that there is no more Ukraine in the world, that this country will cease to exist. This is how we saw the situation. We thought the world would see it exactly in that light if Ukraine were not represented here at the Olympic Games. Many athletes from Ukrainian team, they are holding their mobile devices and following the news all the time. It's completely difficult for them and it's completely difficult to compete under such circumstances. But we spoke and we understand that there is a one front line and battle for our army, for our warriors. And the second front line is here. Defend peace. We won't stop war. Stop war in Ukraine, stop war in the world. Many, 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 many countries from different parts of, of our planet supporting today Ukraine. Together, together against the war. And in this moment, I want to thank you very much. Many countries who present in Paralympic family, who present in the Paralympic Games today, I want to say thank you very, very much, Board of IPC, for make very important decision today. You know about it, and Russia and Belarus must be leave Paralympic Games as soon as possible. Mm -hmm.